So we're gonna buy a $180,000 home. We're gonna put 10% as down payment and take a 30 year loan for the rest. So how much is the loan going to be? Well, it's less than 180,000, how much less? So this is part A. So we wanna do 10% of 180,000. Uh, I these numbers are relatively easy. If you want, you can just do the point 10 times 180,000. Uh, you can use a calculator for this if your numbers are not so nice as mine are, but my 10% uh, is 18,000. So amount is the total minus the deposit. So it's 180,000 minus 18,000 equals, better get the calculator out, 162,000. Okay, so that's part A. Now, for the rest of these, we're only, we're gonna compute it not off the value of the home, but off the loan amount. So this right here is P0. Not the value of the house, but the value of the loan. All right, so we are making periodic deposits on, nope, on a loan, periodic payments on a loan. We already know P0, so we don't need the we don't need the first formula. We already know P0. What will your monthly payments be? I want to find D. So right here, the second formula is already solved for D. So this is the one that we're going to use right here. So let's write that down. So D equals P0 times R minus K divided by one minus one plus R over K, the negative NK. Okay, so P0 is that 162,000 times, all right, rate somewhere 5%, R equals 0 0.05, that's 5% as a decimal. Uh, these are monthly payments, so that means K is 12. There's 12 months in a year. There's 12 months in a year. There's the rate, P0. D is the payments. Somewhere else we're using N. We'll use in a second. All right, so we got divided by K. That's our entire numerator. Now the denominator is 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus the same R over K to the negative n is 30 times k is 12. Okay, so ready to type this in to the calculator. And I just realized I need to move this. And put that right there, okay. So I can get my calculator on the screen. Okay, one six two zero 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 times parentheses point zero five divided by twelve. Now, if you're noticing, close parentheses not working so well. It looks cool, so I'm hit undo. Oh no, that undid too much. All right, so you can hit the right arrow here to move the cursor over, then close your parentheses. Now I'm gonna go divide it by, uh-oh, it looks bad. If you want this 162,000 in the numerator, you can totally do that. So I'm gonna hit delete on that, delete, 162 times. Okay, so now it looks like just what's on my paper. 
denominator, we have one minus parenthesis one plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, close parenthesis, raised to the power, that's a to the b. You need a parenthesis here because your exponent is complicated. Negative 30 times 12, close parenthesis, move the cursor over, close parenthesis, double check that it is what you wrote down. It looks good to me. And there's our 869.65. All right, so what is this? This is the monthly payments, so that's dollars per month. All right, so we got that. Uh, all right, part C, I am not going to redo. Uh, this says if the interest rate goes up one. So what's gonna happen? Well, obviously the rate is gonna change right here, so that 0.05 is gonna be a different value. So it's going to make those two numbers change which of course is going to make your final answer change as well. So you can go ahead and do that. And now I can tell you what's going to happen uh, generally is you're going to pay more. How much more? That much more.